The Pasco EDC 2022 Leadership Award celebrates a person in economic development who has had a remarkable impact on Pasco County and our community. Billy E. Brown, a lifelong resident of Pasco County, attended Pasco High School and served in the U.S. Coast Guard and is a veteran of the Korean War. He began his employment with Withlacoochee River Electric Cooperative in 1956 as a lineman, but his abilities and leadership skills were quickly recognized as he rapidly progressed into supervisory positions. In 1973, he was promoted to Executive Vice President and General Manager, the position which he currently holds 49 years later. His leadership for over half a century has impacted thousands within our community through nonprofits, scholarships, and economic opportunities. Please enjoy this special tribute from his friends and family. You know, with Lakuchi Electric, has only been in existence for 75 plus years. Mr. Brown has worked for the company for over 65. You just don't see that. He is still eager to learn and to keep moving on and making this area continue to grow. Billy and I went to work on Mr. Sam to convince him to put his first Walmart distribution center in our area. All the things that he's been involved in in this marketplace, growing the co-op from 3,000 members to 230,000 members, remarkable. Service and jobs, service and jobs. That's Billy Brown. Several months ago, Billy uh, called me on the phone because we're building a new technical school. And he said, can you send me a list of the equipment that you will need in that school? And on this white sheet of paper, there's a list of equipment. And he said, Ray Wittelacucci would like to fund this equipment. And he handed it to me across the desk. That's the kind of man he is. That's the kind of business he does. It's face-to-face, it's one-on-one, and it's personal. Billy understands our economy's greatest asset is people. His ability to assess the situation, come up with a plan, and execute it is second to none. And it's a very key trait to almost any leader you look across the business community. As they say, a rising tide raises all ships. So you help one person, it's going to have a chain reaction, and it's going to help others as well. He's been one of those legacy leaders that we'll be talking about 50 years from now, 100 years from now. When you look at our community and you see the Vincent House in in Pasco that will probably be here more than 100 years, the Boys and Girls Club in Lacucci, it will be known forever that Mr. Brown was not only a great businessman, but very philanthropic and generous in our community. Mr. Brown has a true commitment to helping community development in the communities he serves. But the most recent thing that he's done is helping us get Vincent House Pasco going. What Vincent House does, it helps people with severe and persistent mental illnesses and eventually get working in the community. I call Billy the ultimate leader. Who would have thought an electric company would actually make Lake Chavita? Premier golf course community that has two of the best golf courses on the planet, and you've got executive top level people that would love to live there, and I'll live in there now. Billy's led the way with giving big scholarships to our local college bound students that really have helped them pursue their dreams, getting a college education, and minimizing the debt because of the help from with the coochie. Sometimes people don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. Mr. Brown epitomizes the caring, excellence attitude that we expect from uh, individuals from the community. No other organization has given as much as with the Lacucci Electric. They've given close to $20 million to students in scholarships over the last two or three decades. So his leadership and his impact has been uh, drastically felt at the college over the years through that of giving. The most memorable thing I've learned from Billy Brown is to trust in your people and always do the right thing. Sometimes we don't always succeed at the first time that we do things, but we don't give up. So we um, put a trip together, went to Brazil. Him and I got to be roommates on a riverboat. You could see his competitive side come forth even on the boat. He's taught me to be competitive, uh, resourceful, hardworking, and most importantly, bring integrity to the table when I make decisions. I think that's something that my dad instilled in me growing up was integrity and hard work. He used to say, you're only as good as your word, and if you're gonna do something, try very, very hard at it and do your absolute best that you can. The legacy I think my dad, Mr. Brown, has created at REC is that he is a legend. I am so proud that I can call Mr. Brown my dad. I love you, Dad. Mr. Brown has taught me so many valuable lessons by example. 
that have proven invaluable throughout my career. Besides Mr. Brown's personal commitment to economic development in the areas that we serve is our involvement with the Pasco Economic Development Council. We don't see men like Billy Brown anymore. I've always admired him because he's not one to be out in front of everybody. I think that's why he's been as effective as he has, is because he's not out there to take credit on a lot of things. He just wants to get things done. And I think that's just, I think that's great leadership. If I had to describe my dad in one word, I believe that would be that he's my hero. The one word I would use to describe my dad is extraordinary. If I could describe my grand Billy in one word, it would be incredibly giving. I've heard many stories of my granddad throughout the years, and if I had to pick one word, it'd be dedication. If I had to describe my granddad in one word, I would use the word handsome. That's one good looking guy. And I'm not just saying that because people say we look alike. If I had to describe my grandfather in one word, it would be genuine. One word for Billy would be impactful. One word to describe Grand Billy is wise. One word to describe Grand Billy is a hunter. Outstanding! Outstanding! It's difficult to describe someone so wonderful and with such a big personality with only one word. But since you're making me, I would say generous. Generosity. Loyal. Committed. Dedicated. Impactful. Reliable. One word to describe Billy Brown would be a giant. One word that I would use to describe Mr. Brown uh, professionally and personally is his integrity. I can't really use one word to describe Mr. Brown. However, I'll use three, driven to excellence. Billy is a man of action. Uh, he does what he says he's going to do. Billy Brown, congratulations on being selected for this award. I'm so glad you made Pasco County your home. You have earned this well-deserved recognition, my friend. God bless. We're happy for you and proud of you. I want to say congratulations to Mr. Brown. Uh, you are a role model. You epitomizes what my mother used to say when she was alive, and that is, you make a living by what you get, but you make a life by what you give. And that's Mr. Brown. <laughs>